Hey, how's it going, everybody? Silent E TCG here, back again with a, well, a deck profile on my current deck I've been using ever since uh, EB01 came out. I definitely was ready to try it out, try out the new cards with this leader, and of course, it's probably my favorite leader of all the game: Red, Green, Luffy. <laughs> you know, I, I just I, it was my first leader uh, altar I think I pulled, and I mean I love Luffy anyway, so. Definitely, uh, I had to buy extra leader just to, just to play around with it. Other ones in the collection, but <laughs> without further ado, let's go and get to the build. Um, definitely was waiting to bring this back out, you know, locally. Yes, and it's it's fun, you know. It's very very cute combos, and I can actually do some kill turns, so I like it a lot. <laughs> we'll go ahead and show it off. As always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. And who's y'all's favorite leader? You know, let me know in, in the comment as well. But starting off, we got four Nami Searcher for the deck. Uh, definitely want to have that. And uh, her partner in crime, we got Julie Bonnie. Another Searcher for practically the whole deck. Um, except for Straw Hats, but Nami can take care of that part. But usually, Bonnie it has more hits. As well as the new Scratchman Apu, just a 2k counter. Definitely great to have. Um, search off Bonnie. We got the Brook, 2k counter. You search off the Nami. And then uh, moving forward, uh, Supernova at this point. Uh, two killer, just a good uh, blocker. If you can keep him out there. We got four Zoro, definitely searchable. <laughs> Can't whiff with that. Uh, works work very well under the under leader ability. Definitely want to utilize that a lot. Uh, we got 2K Luffy. Definitely searchable by both searchers. Got to have him in there. I wish there were more like that. Uh, new blocker. I got the two chopper. Um, so just a good searcher. Uh, I got two killer for the Bonnie grab and two chopper for the Nami grab. So still want to have your blockers to keep you there, keep you alive. You only have four life. You know, sometimes you have two. <laughs> but it's great to have. And another new addition, Kid and Killer. <clears throat> uh, definitely great to see in here. Um, you can untap him and attack for 8 7 first time and 8 the next. So it's really good. Definitely can't argue with that. Uh, just 3 Zoro. Just to have a good, beefy uh, vanilla. And like I said, search for both the girls. Uh, 2 Son uh, not Sanji, but 2 Luffy, unblockable Luffy. Definitely great to have. Um, <clears throat> There are games where you can just close it out with this by itself with Dawn attacking twice. So, can't go wrong with that. And the reason why I put the deck together entirely is because of Cavendish here. Definitely a fun card to have. Because you can, it's not once per turn, so you can play some cards, attack, untap two, leader ability, restand him, give him 1000 power, attack for seven, untap two. Maybe you can still play the, well, I'll show him right now. Maybe you can still play the, Five cause law, restands the Cavendish attack, on tap two, Keep, just keeps it going. <laughs> it is so great. Like I love that combo a lot. Reason why I really put the day back together, honestly, because of Cavendish for sure. But uh, four law, definitely great to have. Uh, still got two kids, just so you can buy yourself some time. Um, especially if you have Cavendish and you can have law, maybe you can untap it, or even the leader build, you can restand the Cavendish so you don't lose it easily. Next, then you follow up with a kid and get your Dawn uh, back active, put some on him and whatever, and you're good to go. So it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, two Radical Beam just to have a decent counter. Um, kind of like how Red Purple Law or Red Green Law would play it. And then one. Diablo Jambi, of course, because your straw hat gotta run it. <laughs> and you gotta turn over the straw hat so you can use it. But that's really it. Now, that was the reason really the reason why I wanted to bring this leader back and just try it out because Cavendish was just very good. You know, I, I, I can't go wrong with him. <laughs> can't go wrong with him at all. Well y'all let me know what y'all uh, think about the deck and you know, like I said, what's your favorite leader? What was your favorite card from the EBO one in general? Y'all let me know all that. And uh, that's it for the video, but I'll definitely have the deck profile or deck laid out at the end, so stay tuned for that. As always, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.